our region is still struggling with COVID infections from the Delta variant compared to the fall opening meeting, which was just one month ago. The county's infection rates are steady at about 90 per 100,000, while the test positivity rate is down a bit from 3.3% to 2.4%. While that is good news, we know that we need to stay alert. We can tell that masks are working. We can see that with the infection rates on our own campuses, which are small, relative to countywide numbers. Vaccination is also a powerful tool, which a large percentage of our employees have already taken advantage of. 88% of employees who responded to the survey, and we're grateful for that. But the contagion of the Delta variant has changed the game a bit, and it's now time for everyone to be vaccinated. So I'm hoping that you saw my memo last week communicating the news. Employees will need to be fully vaccinated by November 8th or begin weekly testing for COVID. Students will be given until January 7th to be vaccinated. This is just not about individuals anymore. I want to be clear. It's about our community. Those who cannot be vaccinated will be required to report negative COVID tests weekly. And we are still working out all of the details of how these processes will work and they will be communicated shortly. If you have not been vaccinated at all because you have been putting it off, I encourage you to do it now as the clock is ticking towards November 8th. We now have access to fully FDA approved vaccines. So the time is now. I think that you will find that many of our sister community colleges are moving in this direction as well. The reason for this decision is that our mission depends on it. The college is moving forward carefully and intentionally, and the vaccination requirement is one part of the picture. At this time last year, we had less than 5% of classes face-to-face. -face. Now we're about 30%. This fall, each of our highly enrolled classes has at least one in-person option. That's progress. Most importantly, though, we're not seeing community spread of COVID-19 on our campuses. This means that we are doing the right thing in the right order. So I know that you see the messages about individual infections coming out, but if we look at those numbers in the context of the wider county data, and even the actual number of people on campuses these days, they indicate successful mitigation. So as I know, you are aware that there is a continued mask mandate, which we know is a power, excuse me, which we know is a powerful tool.